Okay guys, working on drip rate. When you're adjusting an IV, you've got to be able to work out exactly how fast things are going to be going in. Okay, I can tell you after six weeks in intensive care as a patient, I had it pretty well down to a fine art. Uh, most nurses don't have much time or patience for it, so if you can get this worked out and then be able to adjust it nice and quick and easy, it'll be happy for everyone. Okay, now the formula for this. The drip rate is going to be the volume, now keeping the volume in millilitres because that's what the unit is going to be. The time here is in hours, okay, and then you've got drops per millilitre. Now that's going to vary. A macro drip, which is the normal one that you'll be using, will be 20 drops per millilitre. Okay, so the common thing is to be able to already know that that's 20. If there is uh, uh, a finer uh, type of uh, drip where there's, uh, well, often you'll find it's got uh, less surface tension on the actual drop itself, it's a uh, much finer setup, it'll be 60 drops per milliliter. Okay, now just looking at this, we need to keep all these units correct. You can see at the bottom here we've got times in hours times 60. So essentially we're making this in time in minutes. Okay, because your end product is going to be how many drips per minute. Okay, so by using the volume here and it's 20 drips per milliliter. So it actually divides out, so because it's per milliliter, that divides out of that. The hours becomes minutes by multiplying by 60. So we end up being left with drips per minute. Okay. And that's what we can work in. Now, I want you to know that we do that in whole numbers because you're not likely to count half a drip in a minute. Okay, um, if it's 30.5, well, then you round up when it's at the 0.5 mark. Anything below that, you round down. So anything that we give has to be in the whole numbers, otherwise, it's just a bit impractical, it doesn't make much sense. Okay, so let's work an example with this. I know you're keen to do that. Um, of course, you're chomping at the bit. Okay, so let's say that we've got a medication where the the um, uh, it's it's going to require 250 milliliters to be delivered over three hours. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, that's pretty normal. Uh, so, what we're going to do is drip rate equals the volume is 250 milliliters. Keep it in the right units. Always going to be in milliliters because that's what we're using, because that's what the drips are in 20 drops per milliliter. Okay, so we have 250. times, well it's 20 per milliliter over uh, 3 hours and the 60 to convert that into minutes. Okay, so with that, that's pretty easy. Uh, to, uh, 500 over 18 equals uh, with a bit of calculator, 27.7 recurring. That means for the whole number, that's closer to 28 than what it is to 27. So that is now 28 drips per minute. Okay, that's it. That's as difficult as that one gets. So whenever you see this, Write down your formula, volume times drips per minute 
over time times 60. And it's easier to remember when you know that you're going to have your volume and your time. So essentially there's that 250, let me just do it over here. So 250 over 3 hours has already got half the formula done. You would then just go and say, okay, we know it's 20 drops per minute over an hour. Okay. Now, if you wanted to be pretty quick and easy with that, you'd just say, okay, that's 1 over 3 because 20 goes into 63 times. So that is exactly the same formula. And it works out just as easy to do it this way by having it 250 over 3 by 1 on 3. All right, so that would come down to 250 on 9 equals 27.7 recurring equals 28 drops per minute. Okay, that was just thrown in so you could see that with this you can take a shortcut if you know that the drops per minute are 20. The times given in hours, so therefore uh, converting it over to minutes, you've already got that in place. So you can do it in a faster way, saying that the rate 250 over 3 hours, take a third of it. Okay, that's the shorthand way. Um, otherwise, firstly, 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 do it the long way. Okay, you want to practice the technique, get to the understanding of it, and once you've got the understanding of it, then do the shortcut. Okay, don't try and be too clever, you get bitten in the ass when you do. Alrighty, that was pretty easy. Thank you.